so they can even up the tiebreakers. Cloud9 won the previous Ooh. one, and there you go, the Aurelia, because they have a tank in the jungle and on support, frees up their top winner, play some damage here. Including your own side. Oh, here's the ghost from Jensen. His flash is almost about up, but it's not gonna matter. Curtain Call may lock in a few kills here for Cloud9, but they are able to. Doesn't have any of those extra things like insight. Oh. Fox is looking for another gank. Ooh, looks like Jensen cut that one short. He tries to move himself out of this. They're firing back. Proxen very low. Oh, the minions oh. trying to kill him. Ninja comes up on the left side. It looks like Jensen tunneled in on the Proxen kill. And now it's a one for one. Moving back. The Hyper on Smoothie could give Seraph a little bit of movement to keep. Yeah, maybe they'll be able to get it, but Meteos is over the wall. He's got Body Slam Flash. Oh, Ninja. That's what he is, but you can own the Sanguine Pool so much. It looks like Seraph actually took him down there in the imaging. But it did not. Seraph was trying to help. He scoops away the rest of Cloud9. Flashes forward. Proxen gets the knockup. Nobody's going to be able to reach him. And he just super fast on his troll pools. And I don't think they're going to go for him. They go for Hakuo. What a great decision. Ninja was 200 units in range, and they said, eh, we'll just go for the one behind him. Yeah, they're like, oh, it's the easy one here. Exactly. It's, actually, it's actually a five on three. Proxen notices it. He's going to go for the fight. Yo moves from Sneaky. He's down in the tri-brush area, trying to get himself to safety from Seraph. Over the wall, Proxen gets in range. The strike hits. Gets the stun, but it's not going to be enough to hop over. Lod says King me, and he's on the move now with the rest of the team. And it looks like Cloud9 all have to back up. They're doing it staggered, but not a very normal instance for Cloud9. They're usually on a play they're dictating. They have the team come across, and they would have taken Envy there and taken them down. Envy on the top of the play. And now possibly with the Baron, Meteos already with one steal, probably feeling good to go in again. The team is spreading out quite a bit. Lod's in the back of the Baron, taking a whole heap of damage. Baron goes down, and so does Jensen with both summoners as well. What a spread fight. And now they're going to be on to Ninja. He may go down for his troubles. That's a blue buff that Impact's looking to pick up, and he will not get it. Blue buff for Sneaky. Yeah, and that's two down right there. Middle it's squishy, hard. though. That, that looks great for Cloud9. If Seraph can yeah. be taken down Seraph at this final point, boss. his final boss is coming at him real big, and there's the hit from Smoothie to get a little gold in his pocket. And an unexpected turn of events there as Seraph oh. back and forth a yo-yo around this Baron Pinner. Medios looking for a play. Gonna be tough to take down Big Seraph. Little Seraph, not so much. How much focus do they put? Ninja to the back line, cleanses immediately. He'll be quite safe, and they get Seraph down. Impact runs out. Meteos as well, and Ninja's gonna be the focus now. They're almost spreading themselves too thin, but they get a few members in now onto Sneaky, and that's some good DPS down. Jensen too low to get... Stop that back. Make sure you get damage on this turret. Law's gonna be able to take this really quickly, and they're gonna get right on that in hit. Oh, that was... Patience from Envy. It seemed like Cloud9 was finding their way back in. A way to fight Envy and take them down systematically. They may be biting off more they can chew. Envy Hakuo goes down. Impact dives to the back. That means Lod only has one jump, and that one jump was to his grave. Proxen's now into Impact. They're only trying to buy time to get Envy off, and Waves pushed Ooh. here, and Ninja. He's gonna pull out, but they should dunk him quite soon here. There's another jump from Impact. He is getting huge in the result of these fights. I mean, if he wants to get crazy, is there a tunnel? No, he doesn't. There's one up there. Oh, there is a tunnel. Impact's like, no, squish. <laughs> He's good. No chance. Save it. No chance whatsoever. Cloud9 right back in it. That will 1,600 gold still. Yeah, that's true. See, Sarah Golden's holding on to a lot. Sarah passes ultimate. Oh. oh, oh, Haku was ultimate. He thought there was going to be a jump in possibly from Impact, but it did not happen. They bait out the ult. That's Sarah down. And really, you can't disengage against the gym. The curtain call keeps you there for the entirety of the show. And that's what Cloud9 is going to put on here as they push Envy out of the base. Yes, the inhibitor fell, but Cloud Nine's picking stuff up with 60 second death timers. And Jensen with the ult. Where is he at? Oh. Nope. Over the shoulder, and left side, and oh. missed him! Oh, oh. It did it hit him! Did it hit Oh, it did good vision. We have to see it again. I think it hit him. Maybe it missed him. Maybe he scared himself to move. But okay. that happened, and so is this. <laughs> oh, that was... They did some super slow-mo on that, too. That, I think you have the perfect champion to actually find someone in the jungle there at distance with Transcendent Blades on Aurelia.
but yeah. he's like, here now, uh, maybe, is he gonna go for the bot side? Is this the plan? Is this going for broke? They're gonna send a lot to the bot, is that what the ping is? He's gotta show up here. Oh boy. TP oh. to the bot side, they're is gonna try to TP? go in the game. Oh, no, he's not just TP! No! He's got a Guardian Angel, so he'll delay a little bit of time here. He doesn't get literally locked up from the Equilibrium Strike. He may go down soon. He's still the Malefic Peasants and Transcendent Blades. Such a low cooldown, actually. Already back up for impact. Oh! And the Gnar looks to wallop backwards. Not happening the way that Thompson in the lead for Cloud9. And you see the dominance they're trying to put now. Once they're in the base, then they go for it. There's no waiting on the side of C9. Hakuo goes down as well. Ultimates aren't even being used as Envy tries to get back. There's one out. Ninja's thrown down Hemo Plague, but it's not gonna be enough. Sneaky's almost able to solo him out. And a 530 damage crit on the last Shot changes Ninja's mind. Meteo says, let's have a drink. And Ninja says, I don't do that. And he's like, up your blood. Oh let's my, the healing. It's missing HP, but it's not going to matter. Cloud9 are just going to end the game right here and show the difference between third place oh, and fifth. That was the one holding off, being whittled down. Cloud9 knew the one good fight would put them in Envy's base. And they drop the Nexus with that chance. Cloud9 take game one over Envy. And they only give up eight kills, right? Even though Envy were in the lead for a large portion of that game, the perfect play there from Cloud9 with the picks, they preyed on the lack of coordination from Envy during that mid game. Yeah. And this is a game that Envy, they're going to be able to look back at. There's a lot of things here, that, a lot of great little nuggets that you can go. We need to average wins and losses. 40 minutes. Whoa. Is insane. Lulu pick. Ooh, let's do it. Even after the hit on Glitterlands. All right. It's the hit on Glitterlands, but you did. Approach from Meteos coming in from the river right now. The action's going to be slow to start on this one. And Packer going in. Should be able to just whimsy right out. He got a slow at the perfect time and oh. saves the whimsy for after. They take down Seraph immediately in the top lane. I mean, you still get the Lulu. Do what they want with the minion waves. Uh, and they don't get punished. Ninja's gonna go for another, but Whoa! he has ulted again. Oh my word, so Whoa, much for Jensen. The they do get him down, the ults were up and one's not used. Jensen is the worst for the wear there. In the past, it, still deciding what you want to do. It's just like why you don't do mid-game retros where you're like, ah oh, man, that fight that we lost, that one guy's fault. It's like, no, now you're thinking about the past. Yeah. You're letting your opponents get ahead of you. And Envy just constantly do this where their opponent's just a little bit quicker on the draw. Arrow over the shoulder of Hakuo. I think they have what it takes to take him down still. The heal from Lai, they're actually trying to keep him alive quite a bit. No real rotation coming up from Envy here as they continue to put pressure on the fight. Looks like they will back off overall. The tail team, and now you're doing fantastic. Oh no, wait, he ate Ha, oh, he ate Lod, and that put Lod in the fight with the explosive cask, a two for one for Meteos. It may have jostled everything up a little too much though, and Proxen has to flash over the wall. Meteos with a sliver of health dances himself to safety. Proxen needs to get out, but he's stuck in the corner, and now Lod, after being thrown into the mix, somehow finds safety. Him and Ninja, the only two that are alive, and Ninja really couldn't even participate in this fight. One bomb goes. They're going to be ooh. chasing Lod. And ooh is right. We felt that one through the screen. Lod goes down, and Ninja is still trying to dance around Here. with Lod. Cloud9, once they got a lead, they've been able to snowball it rather effectively. 31 minutes in, and we're looking at almost a 10k gold advantage, which just happened ooh. after that Baron. But he's trying to make you fast. He's not a Kogma or anything, and ooh. Roxin takes the hit. There's a little bit of love there as well on both sides. Goes right down as the bombs fall, and it does not look like to be able to stop the power of Cloud9 here. Oh, coming out of the tempered fate just off of the double bomb. They should be able to save Ninja, but not Hakuo. Ninja actually can't take a path towards the base. He goes down as well. And Cloud9 looking to put on the finishing touches. Chrono shift for Jensen. The Gnar coming through. And Impact is going to have a nice ending engagement for this fight. They're already in the base. They're already on the Nexus turrets. And this is almost like the first time they played each other where Cloud9 went 13-0. and zero. It's just a one kill difference there. Yep. But Cloud9, once again, showing the difference between third and fifth and showing Envy have some work to do. Cloud9 in two games. Take down Envy. And Cloud9 now solely in third place for just a moment here. Mm -hmm. Tied with Liquid 
They're hanging out there. About half a game up now because of this. So there's definitely good and bad. We saw good and mm -hmm. bad from both of these teams. Sometimes you just have a day where things don't go your way, but we saw Envy actually punishing that third now third place team. We saw Cloud9 having their moments of falter, but also able to pick up a game. The story for Cloud9 is that can't happen.